This is probably the most expensive set of smartphone cameras I've ever tested the Xiaomi 14 Ultra with photography kit. And there's actually some nice new camera features. In prom mode switch to photo and now you got a bunch of presets so you can quickly get the look that you want and you can save your own custom settings and even import settings here now regular cameras work with what's known features as the exposure triangle which is aperture shutter speed and ISO but most smartphones only have two settings that we can adjust because they have fixed apertures now the Xiaomi 14 Ultra Main C. Camera features a stepless variable aperture which goes from f1.63 to f4.0, so we can now implement this exposure triangle in a smartphone in regular photo and video mode open settings, and you now have four apertures to choose from, or you can just leave it in auto, and when you're in PR mode along with ISO and shutter speed controls, there's now this aperture control wheel, and using this we can fine-tune exposure. With 0.01 stop increments, we now have this EV button or exposure value. So if you want to quickly adjust exposure, it's easy just to tap that and then use the wheel. So this is the white version of the 1114 Ultra, which comes with this nice fake leather back and as well an aluminum frame. And then we've got this big circular lens housing, which really makes a feature out of the phone's cameras. I say it's definitely a nice looking phone, but it is quite heavy. And once you add the photography kit as well. It's well over 300G at the tap of a button switch the 14 Ultra into what Xiaomi calls Master Cinema Mode, and essentially this is 10-bit high dynamic range video which is going to be in the W2020 color space, so basically we're talking about Dolby Vision in Provoto Mode, we can open settings and find the raw photo options with this enabled, we can shoot up to 16-bit raw photos and then we can take these into other programs and then edit them in Photoshop or Lightroom while of course you can also just edit them in the Xiaomi 14 Ultra itself in the gallery app. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with four rear cameras and they're all cameras 50 map while the front camera uses a good quality 32 map sensor the main. Camera uses Sony's new flagship LT901 in image sensor which was actually announced at the end of last year the LT900 also uses stacked SEOs. Technology which allows for physically larger diodes so without getting too technical this is basically designed to allow the sensor to capture more light. And it gives the main camera an impressive 14 EV of dynamic range so by comparison the iPhone 15 Pro Max main camera has a 12 EV dynamic range says a couple of notches better than the flagship iPhone so we got AA 75mm equivalent floating telephoto camera which allows the lens to adjust within. The camera itself resulting in a minimum focusing distance of only 10 centimeters so this camera is really suitable for both close-up macros as well as for portraits there's also this 120 millimeters periscope photo which is said to improve light intake by 44 percent compared to its predecessor the xiaomi 13 ultra and in fact this is also pretty good for macro shots you do get really nice sharp images from the tele cameras as well, you're going to get an authentic looking shallow depth of field in photo and in video mode, which is really great. For portraits like the Xiaomi 14, the autofocus switches between subjects very smoothly, and that's really great for focus changes when you're capturing video. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra also features a 12 mm ultra wide camera, which can stay in focus as close as 5 centimeters. So if you weren't sure you needed even one macro, Camera you now have three and in video mode there's also this super macro mode which just zooms in on the subject but using the telephotos as nature intended you do get some nice crisp images and the 14 Ultra comes with an AI enhancement feature which is implemented. When you zoom in from a distance up but I'm going to talk about that later so Jammy have created the photographer's kit. Photographer's kit to go with the 14 Ultra and there's two main parts though case and the grip so this one has a black leather back and a this kind kind of metallic sides although it's made of plastic after you've got the phone into the case you just slide on the grip and then you flick the lock switch so it's locked securely in place and this case allows you to mount filters using the 67 millimeters filter adapter ring so the other two rings that come with the kit are basically just decorative and in mine i've got a silver and an orange metallic ring for the decoration and to switch rings it's pretty easy just press the button here and then twist and you can see that there's these two little red dots too guide you so it's all pretty simple and once you have the 67 millimeters filter adapter 
You can use all kinds of regular camera filters, so it's a you know standard size 67 millimeters. You can get ND filters, MIS filters, polarizing filters, and so on. And you can also stack those, of course, if you want to add two filters or more so. Now what we need is someone to invent a 67 and then mount, which allows you to add anamorphic lenses. And uh, this is going to be almost the perfect kit the grip has a shutter button, a record button, a zoom lever, and a control wheel or a dial, whatever you want to call it there's. Also a power bank within the grip, so when you mount the grip, it's going to start charging your phone, so this gives you some handy extra battery life. All the buttons and the wheel can be customized, and at the moment I have the wheel set to the default EV so I can. Easily adjust exposure, the shutter button can be switched between single. And burst photos, for example, the zoom lever can be used to switch between cameras instead of zooming and the kit. Also comes with a wrist. 10-bit log strap in video pro mode when you swipe. To open settings, you can now enable Xiaomi's log color profile and this. Gives you a washed out desaturated video, which is going to be better for color grading. And the nice thing about this is that it automatically creates a 10-bit color video, which is really cool because 8-bit video is far less useful for color work as well. You can add a preview lot and even import your own or third-party lots. When you apply the lot here, it's not going to be baked and it's just preview. And there's no actual option to do that if you wanted to. So the 14 Ultra is always going to output an untreated. Log 120 frames per second 4K file, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra now supports 120 frames per second 4K recording SO. That matches the Sony Xeria 4 and the latest Samsung 24 Ultra, so we can now shoot super slow motion at 4K, and of course, if you compare that to the top iPhones, which are still limited to 60 frames per second if you're shooting at 4K. For K selfie camera video. Resolution now, whereas the Xiaomi 13 Ultra selfie camera was limited to 10. 80p the 14 Ultra can now record 4K video with the selfie camera, so all the cameras now have 4K video capability up to 60 frames per second for 120 frames per second, you will need to use the main camera, so of course 8K video has been 8K video at 24 and 30 FPS around in. Androids for a long time now, several years, but the Xiaomi 14 Ultra supports two 8K frame rates, 24 and 30, 30 frames per second. So this does make it a little bit more versatile, especially as I do most of my work using 30 frames per second these days. So having 30 frames per second means I might just switch to 8K once in a while if it's good light. And I just need that extra pixel boost so you can shoot 8K video with any of the rear cameras and also in both regular video and pro video mode so in some cases phones that can shoot 8k do so only in the pro mode so having it in both modes again just makes it more steady video versatile the xiaomi 14 ultra has two modes which activate smoother video stabilization so we've got steady video and then we've got steady video pro and both modes are limited to 1080p and 30 frames per second but the video does come out pretty stable these are a couple of shots that I got just handheld and just walking, and they come out pretty smooth movie mode. The 14 Ultra comes with Xiaomi's version of the iPhone cinematic mode, which is called movie mode, and what it does is use masking to add a fake blurry background to mimic a shallow depth of field in video. When you switch to this mode, you're going to find that there are no options for frame rates, no option for resolution, or to switch cameras because basically you're locked into 1080p 24 frames per per second and also main. Camera only so there does seem to be some differences in how this works, depending on the version you have, because I think the Chinese version limits the frame rate to 30 frames per second and not 24 frames per second, but in one respect Xiaomi's movie mode goes one step further than iPhone cinematic mode, and not only does it add a blurry background, but it also adds motion blur Xiaomi says this replicates the 100-180 degrees shutter roux that is used to mimic the Look of film cameras, so if your video doesn't have enough motion blur, it can look a bit harsh to the eye, and this is why to get this nice smooth film look, we normally set frame rate to 24 frames per second and shutter speed to 148 of A. Second, now the thing is in bright light, we'd normally need an ND filter to get our shutter speed so low, but Xiaomi movie mode achieves a motion blur effect without using ND filters, so I'm presuming this is done by adding motion blur computationally, so that's pretty handy, isn't it? So in this mode, you can set a cinematic widescreen too. 
0.39 to 1 aspect ratio, or you can just leave it at the regular 16 by 9 so it's nice to have it, and it works pretty well, but overall it's not. Really a match for the iPhone cinematic mode, because basically you can't edit smart composition at some times with with Xiaomi phones. There's so many features it can be a little bit overwhelming so in the one pager that Xiaomi sent me they talk about a feature called auto framing, and there's also another one called auto. Zoom and while I remembered them being demonstrated at the MWC Barcelona, I could not find these features within the phone so I had to do a little bit of detective work first of all I went back. Through my Barcelona footage, and then I found some where we were given a demonstration of the odd off frame feature. Uh, I can see the demo phone is in movie mode, so now I know where to look so open movie mode there was nothing in. The settings then I tapped the IE button, and I found that the feature is talked about under a heading called Smart Composition, and then I found it the button here. This opens up the two features, but it's not actually called Odd Off Frame, it's now called Smart Composition, so that's why I was struggling to find it and in this mode. The camera CA tracks people as they move about the frame, and using that big sensor it creates a new frame, so it's like the camera is moving following the subject except actually it isn't so this is with the Xiaomi 14 Ultra on a tripod, and I'm just moving around so it crops part of the frame and then just gives you that cropped part auto zoom allows you to shoot an automated zoom so that it comes out nice and smooth and you can actually go in here and adjust the duration of the zoom and and the amount of the zoom the Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with a Extended do F feature called extended depth of field if you have this enabled when you use the telephoto lens to shoot at close range you can choose between a shallow depth of field or an extended field of view extending the field of view should mean the background is less blurry now when I tried this feature in the 14 Ultra. It didn't actually seem to make any difference so I don't know if I'm using it wrong but I pressed it maybe I just need to try that again but at the moment I haven't got that to work AI is probably the hottest topic in AI camera the tech and creative worlds right now so every new piece of tech is going to come with this AI buzzword a uh, to try and get everyone interested and predictably enough the MWC event in Barcelona was full of AI there this and AI that but rather inevitably then the Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with an AI camera mode so Normally, when we zoom in a long way with our smartphone cameras, we get in this kind of artifact-ridden ugly mess in photo mode after we zoom beyond 30 times. A red AI camera icon appears in the corner of the frame, and the camera will now use AI to enhance the photo, and it's actually generative AI believes, so if I take a photo and then quickly open it in the gallery, you can see this AI process in action so. After a second or two, it creates this AI sharpened image, but rather than sort of adding sharpening and smoothing as cameras traditionally do and presuming this is some kind of generative AI, but if you don't want it to do this AI enhancement, you can just tap to disable it on the screen, or you can turn it off completely in the settings, so the Fay is called Ultra Zoom, and it's currently a beta in settings. There's also a button to enable AI camera mode. So that's presumably the same thing, so I didn't quite work out what the reason for that was the AI icon button seems to only pop up when it kind of feels like it, so unless you see this icon, it's not going to apply generative AI to your selfie camera exposure photo, so I found that the exposure of the selfie camera was acting a little bit strangely, especially when there's a strong backlight, so the background is almost completely washed out because it's trying to expose my face correctly. But when I tap on my face, the whole image goes completely dark, you know. Because normally when you tap on something, the camera should set exposure for that thing that you're tapping on. But instead, it seems to expose for the background no matter where I tap. So something weird is going on there. I know that we can set exposure manually using the slider, but this is an expensive phone. So we should expect top level from all the cameras. And I do think that Xiaomi still has some way to go before we can say that they've produced a genuinely top-level selfie camera, but hopefully this is just a kind of firmware glitch, and they can fix it, but from what I'm seeing, it's pretty similar to the Xiaomi 14 selfie camera. It's about the same quality, maybe exactly the same quality, but if you choose good lighting, you're going to get good images with the selfie camera and as well in photo mode of this probably with the blown out background isn't such a big problem because it uses multiple images to adjust the background now. Do you enjoy making your Photos and your videos look like they've been shot on film. Thank you for watching video. Please subscribe for more videos. Bye.